Hi, in this video we're going to look at how to do unit conversions. In this video we're going to convert 67.4 kilometers per hour into meters per second. In physics we typically use meters per second. Okay, so what I like to do when I first start is to rearrange it a little bit so that I can start crossing things off a little bit easier. So I'll sometimes put the hours right below in a fraction. Now, we want the kilometers to cancel off. Notice how we have kilometers on our 67.4 and our answer is supposed to have meters up there. So we need to cancel that off so we have kilometers at the bottom and we're hopefully trying to get meters so we put meters at the top. Now we need to think back and see if we know a conversion ratio. Now a ratio is kind of a one-to-one -one thing that's equal to each other. In this case, we know that there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. So remember in the previous videos how we've said if you divide t by t, it equals 1, or if you have 5 divided by 5, it equals 1. A ratio is a similar thing, where 1,000 meters is the same as 1 meter. So we're really not adding anything new. So, as you can see, the kilometers now cancel off, and if we we're looking at our units, we now have meters over hours, which isn't quite right. We need to get rid of those hours. So, we put our hours on the top, and our answer is supposed to be in seconds, so we'll put seconds down there. Now, I happen to know that in one hour, there's 3,600 seconds. A lot of people know this. It's required that you know it in some grades. However, if you don't know, there's 60 minutes in an hour and 60 seconds in a minute. And 60 times 60 is 3600. So that's where that number's coming from. I'm not just making stuff up here. All right, so now you can see that on we have an hours on the top and an hours on the bottom. So those can cancel off. And it looks like looks like we just have meters on the top and seconds on the bottom, so our units are correct for what we're looking for. So we multiply that together, that gives us 18.7 with proper significant figures, and our units of meters per second. That's all there is to that problem. Now hopefully that went very well. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching the video, I'll see you later. Check out flippedclassroom.ca for a few more videos.